Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're gonna look into how to uh, install an add-on for Storybook. And now, as you remember, this is one of my previous video on how to install uh, Storybook. So um, previously, we looked into how to actually install this customized uh, category and also uh, the story as well. So here we got the uh, text area. So when I click on that, we're going to see like an act under the actions. This is like the number of clicks. Um, so now let's have a quick look on what type of add-on that we are going to use. So as you can see, this is one of the Storybooks add-on. And this add-on is called Storybook Add-on Knobs. And it allows you to edit the properties uh, dynamically using the Storybook UI. So we can actually use the knob as a dynamic uh, variable in the Storybook itself. And this is how we get started. Basically, we need to install this. And then um, this is an example of uh, using the React. And there are more languages down here. So this is all the available knobs we can use. So uh, this include like tags, boolean, the number, uh, number round by range, color, objects, array, uh, selects, and more. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to install um, this library onto our React, uh, the storybooks. So first thing first, um, right now, because we are using the NPM, and this one is showing us your net. So I'll just need to copy this part and go to my terminal. I'm going to terminate this for now. And I'm going to run npm install with this library. So let's wait for a minute and we we'll come back. All right, so now it has been installed. I'm going to start this by using npm run storybook. All right, so now the storybook is running. What we need to do, we need to actually configure inside this text. And um, I'm going to edit that as well. So right now, what I need to do, I'm going to comment this out and type out a new one. I'm going to also import here as well. See you guys in a few seconds. All right, so here I have import the story off uh, from the storybooks uh, slash reacts. And this is the knob itself, which is the library that I've just installed. And uh, right now, I just import it as text. So here, you can see that this is the story of, uh, I give it, just give it a name. And this is the module. So we're going to store it into the variable. And then we're going to use this command, which is the uh, function add decorator with the knob. So it's coming from the uh, this library. So here, um, this one is the story dot add with the uh, basically, this is the story name with a button and down here we have the um, button also with the text off, which is the up here. So uh, the label and this is I just say like hi or maybe I can just change it to hi guys. And um, right now we have a property. So it right now it is the disable uh, equal to false. So now let's see what is on the uh, react books here. I'm going to refresh this. All right, so here you can already see that uh, I just give it a name as storybook knobs with the uh, story names, which is the uh, with a button. So here the button says like, hi guys. But the thing is that you haven't seen like there's a uh, button down here so that we can uh, just change the property of this button. What I need to do next is to import this library under the addons.js. So we need to import it inside this uh, addons.js so it's going to be the same things as storybooks which is this one here add on knobs also with the register as well so now let's go back to the website and give it a refresh and see if it's going to show up here all right so here we go we can see that there is a new tab called knobs so when i click on this right now we have a basically like a label with uh, sayings like hi guys and you can see it right here so what this add-on does is that it allows us to change the value dynamically as seen here so what I'm going to do is things like uh, hi guys 
Welcome to a new tutorial using add on something like that in React or uh, in Storybooks. So here we can change the value dynamically here and uh, we can see the result right away. So right on the fly. And this is the uh, disable button. Right now when I click on this, it's going to give me like a disable button. I cannot click on it or I can just click again to enable it. So that how it works here. And um, by default, uh, if you remember, I just put it like this as false. So when I change it to false, just put it as false. So if I'm going to do that, you can see that the um, disable button is not enable because of we are not using that dynamic value which is the uh, disable equal to booleans and just give this as a name and um, by default it's going to be set is as false so that's how we see it uh, in a minute ago and uh, I need to import this boolean from the uh, add-on knobs as well all right, so here without the first steps, what I'm going to do next, uh, I'm going to type out a few more code, which this while you that you can see here, which is the dynamic uh, variable. All right, so here I have typed out another stories inside the text uh, categories here. So what you can see is that I just give it a name as uh, dynamic variables. And this is the uh, variable, which is the text um, right here and uh, this is name and also by default I just call it as uh, my name and the content down here is that it's going to be dynamic value so uh, it's going to call whatever it is uh, when user type it using this text property and I just say it's like uh, nice to meet you but then once we get the content we return it in the uh, div tag right here so now let's go to the website and see so here you go, um, I, this is the name, the as dynamic variables, and this is hi, uh, I'm home, nice to meet you. So action, here is knobs, and this is just name. It's become dynamic now for the name. So let's say I can just, uh, hi, um, um, just whatever it is, John. Hi, I'm John, nice to meet you, stuff like that. So I can just type any things I want. As you can see, this value is now become dynamic. So that's the benefit of using the uh, add-on knobs, which we can just change the property of, say, a button, or it can be like a text right here, or there are more. Um, so uh, before I finish the video, I'm going to also show you how to um, refactor this code a little bit. So now we can see that uh, I have stored into the uh, stories. I can just use like a short form, which is shortcut. I can just uh, remove that. And here again, I remove all the stories and remove the semicolon right here. Again, with this one, uh, the same as top here. I'm going to save this. And now let's go back to the website and see if we get the same results. All right, here we go. We still get the same uh, results we want. And, uh, Hi everyone, so it's working properly right here, you can see. So um, that's, I think, pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, we look into how to use text, how to use the Boolean, and there are more right here. All right, so I think that uh, we can just try using one more property, which is the color here. And all right, so what we need to do, we're gonna import a color right here from React knobs and inside the uh, button we're gonna change the um, text color so it would be something like color and we're gonna use the color itself so give it a name as color and by default i'm going to use the default color the text color is uh, red 
so we got something like this and now let's have a look on the, the storybook so here we go by default we can see that the uh, default color is uh, red and i can also uh, dynamically change this color as well so here you can see that the color keep changing when i choose whatever the rgb color here and um, i'm going to also try to change the background color of the button as well so what i need to do i just change from the color and to uh, background color that's it so it looks something like this now let's go back and also if you guys cannot see an update on the fly remember that you need to refresh this browser so here we have the uh, default value uh, which is red and i can change the uh, back uh, button color as well so that's pretty much it uh, for this tutorial i hope you guys find this helpful and in the next video we might look into another uh, add-on using with the storybook itself here see you guys in the next video